Hello, it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm designing a layout for Paper Maze. And this month I'm going to be working with Vicky Bootin's Sweet Rush collection again. So I've already created a couple of layouts with it last month, um, but a lot of it was delayed with the suppliers and delivery and stuff. So we got the ephemera and stickers and things like that really late in the UK. Um, so I felt like my first two layouts, I didn't really get to use a lot of the collection. So I'm gonna be using it again this month. Now I've got a bit more to play with. With, so I get another month of fun bright colours which is really exciting. Now I've done a little bit of prep work before hitting record this morning. I've punched some circles or cut some circles using metal nesting dies from some of the pattern papers. So I've got this one here with the lovely flowers on and the blue B side that's called daisy chain. And then I've got that lovely um, stripy paper that I had left over from my previous layout. That's called Simple Pleasures. And then that lovely black and white pattern is from the Photos and Things paper. Um, it's that lovely one, it's got pink and orange and then a black and white section. Uh, so I've just cut some circles from those in various sizes. And I've also done a little bit of fussy cutting as well. So I've obviously cut some of those lovely pink flowers from the daisy chain paper, uh, the A side. I've also got some of the beautiful butterflies from the saw paper. Um, and I've got a couple of other florals as well, and they are from the Perfect Day paper, those lovely floral clusters. Um, so a little bit of fussy cutting and um, die cutting gone on before I've hit record. And now I'm just kind of working on placement and where I want things to go. I'm going for a vertical design and I've decided to go through the centre of the page. Quite often when I do circles and hexagons and things, I like to offset my design slightly to one side. But I was feeling like um, a symmetrical design was in order today. So I've gone for the centre of my page. Um, I've got a circular photo of my little boy hiding in amongst um, a big tree. <laughs> now, I don't know what it is, but it was absolutely stunning. It's a lovely sort of green tree as they are, but it had these lovely white hanging flowers down um, um, and it was so tall but I got some photos of him in the bottom of it and he was kind of hiding and moving backwards so he's kind of nestled in amongst all the leaves and flowers so I wanted my photo to be nestled in amongst everything else so normally I would put like a white um, border on my photos to give it a bit of separation but for this layout I haven't because I want my photo to almost get lost in the background obviously I, I still want to see my photo and notice it's there but I wanted that kind of nestled buried look that um, just reminded me of my little boy hiding in the tree a little bit so that's why um, I've not got a white border today it's probably the first time I've ever made a layout without a white border on my photo um, but I just felt like it needed it for this layout so I've arranged all my circles then vertically through my photo. I'm overlapping some of them and kind of going largest, nearest my photo. And then as I'm getting out towards the edge of the page, the circles are getting smaller and I've kind of scattered the colours around a bit as well. And then I've just placed some of those um, fussy cut florals around the edges of my photo, kind of diagonally going through. Um, and a couple of butterflies going diagonally the other way. I've stuck with the blue and yellow butterflies just because I felt like the colours worked really well with my photo. Um, and then I'm going to have some, obviously, those daisy chain um, pink flowers scattered around as well. So I'm keeping everything really tight in the centre of my page, overlapping everything. Um, I'm not really spreading things out too much. Like I said, I wanted that kind of nestled look to remind me of my little boy in the tree. So everything's nice and tightly clustered on this one. I'm just working my way through these circles now. Um, I've put everything in place where I want it to go. Uh, it was one of those layouts that happened super quick. I kind of put everything down on the page and pretty much most of the stuff I liked where I'd placed it first time. Um, so there wasn't a lot of fiddling and I didn't want to have to take it all off to stick it all down. So I've kind of gone circle by circle, just removing them and added double-sided tape behind them. So all my circles are stuck down flat. Then my photo I've raised up with some craft foam, um, just to give it a bit of dimension. I did have mentioned that I want it to kind of get nestled in and lost amongst the circles and the embellishment, but I do like to have that dimension and I don't want it to get completely lost. So I have raised that up on a layer of craft foam. 
and then all my little florals around that I've um, dotted about and embellished with I've raised those up on little foam pads as well and then my little butterflies as always I'm just sticking the bodies down with my glossy accents um, and leave the wings I'm going to bend those up a little bit to make them look like they've landed on my page and um, so just taking a couple of moments to work through everything and get it stuck in place um, and then I can figure out what I want to do with the rest of the embellishing but I liked the way that all of this looked so I definitely wanted to get that stuck in place before I messed it all up and then I realised I hadn't left an awful lot of space for a title. So I had a look through the uh, ephemera pack and the stickers to see what I wanted to use as my title. And I settled on Sweet Life from the, uh, this is called the Loving It Phrase Thickers. And I absolutely adore these. They're almost kind of puffy, um, but they are one of my favourite things about Vicky Booting Collection. These um, kind of title pieces and you always get loads of lovely little gold stars and hearts and things. Um, and I loved the one from Colour Study as well the last collection um so i love these and i've gone for sweet life for my title and it was only after that i realized that the title for my previous layout was the sweet life so i've made two um layouts with this collection called sweet life but never mind it's just one of those things and my little boy does have a pretty sweet life so um i'm not fussed about reusing the title or having it used more than once that's fine with me I've just popped a couple more stickers on as well from that uh, phrase stickers set. So I've got one that says just chill and another one that says I like it. And I've just used those to kind of fill in a couple of gaps in between sort of where circles overlap. Um, then I've got, these are the cardstock stickers. And I've pulled off um, a few of these in sort of pinks and blues I'm going for. Um, so I've got one that says enjoy life, one that says get out and explore and another that says take the scenic route and I've just overlapped those on some of my circles. Then I'm pulling in some black arrows because my title's black um, and the bodies of the butterflies are black. I wanted a few more pops of black on the page. So those arrows were perfect. They're white stickers with black arrows. It's got kind of gold foiled accent lines just around the arrows, which um, I thought were really pretty. So I've added three of those, all kind of facing in towards my design. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it clustered in the middle. So I've got the arrows facing inwards towards my design. Um, I've also added some black and gold star stickers as well from the cardstock stickers, just scattered those around. And now I'm coming in with a little bit more gold because like I said, those arrows have got some gold on. Um, I'm taking some of the gold dots from the phrase and icon thickers. So these are chipboard pieces um, and they are sticky on the back, but I managed to rip a few off and leave the sticky bit on the, um, the white paper that they come on. So I've had to use my glue for a couple. Um, but I've yet yeah, just scattered some little gold and um, they're kind of holographic as well really pretty scattered a few of those around and I've added two arrows as well I've got a blue one that says this guy and a green one that says all good again facing in towards the center of my design so facing in towards my photo and that is me finished and um, lots of little things on this layout rather than using big bits of patterned paper and big ephemera and things I focused more on little things um, and made a layout that's got lots of white space which is really appealing to me as long as I've got um, a little bit of space to sort of rest the eye I don't mind having lots of things clustered together like I have on this one um, and it is quite a busy layout all clustered in the middle but I've got plenty of white space around the outside for your eye to rest so um, I think that balances quite nicely but that is me done for today so I hope you've enjoyed this layout and it's given you some inspiration or ideas um, you've got lots of close-ups coming up and I will pop a link in the description box below to the paper May store for you where you can buy this collection in full obviously lots of other collections as well um, and i'll also pop a link to the paper maze blog where you can head over and see lots of um, inspiration from all the other design team members as well and all the collections they're using so thanks very much for joining me i'll leave you with the last few close-ups and i'll see you next time